Hello everyone, welcome Adab, Satsri Akal, Game Show and how are we doing today? I hope you are all doing well and pretty excited for this year's IPL. Because this year we are going to bring you the ultimate podcast for your fantasy league with some insider news. They'll help you transform and make the most out of your fantasy leagues or your other betting platforms. Uh, so in this podcast, we'll bring you all the tips on making the best fantasy league for this year's cricket spectacle, that is IPL 2023. So without wasting any time, subscribe to our channel for all the tips and the insider news. And with that, welcome to the first episode of this ultimate podcast for the IPL Fantasy League and betting tips. I'm your host, and today we'll be discussing the top teams in contention for the win for and also the first five teams that you should take in your uh, fantasy league. We'll be talking about the top five teams, uh, and we'll also be talking about the fantasy league system. So we all know that the IPL is one of the most exciting cricket leagues in the world, and this year, again, is no exception. With the tournament set to begin in a few days, it's time to start thinking about your fantasy teams and your betting strategy. So first off, let's talk about all the teams that we have in this year's IPL. We will start with Chennai Super Kings that have been the winner four times in the past uh, seasons. We also have Delhi Capitals who hasn't won any season so far. We have the defending champions Gujarat Titans that won last year's IPL in their, uh, in their first ever journey in this IPL. We have Kolkata Knight Riders that have won the spectacle two times. We have uh, Royal Challenges Bangalore, this year's they're going to be pretty favored they haven't won any of the championships so far but they are pretty favored to win this time we have lucknow super giants again a new team that came in last year uh hasn't had any uh win so far because last year it was taken by gujarat titans we have mumbai indians uh the most successful team in the ipl history under rohit sharma they have won five times the most by any team so far then we have punjab kings who hasn't won any title either and then the last two rajasthan royals and sunrises hyderabad who have taken the title one time each so let's talk about the top three teams that would be in contention for this year's ipl to win the tournament we all know gujarat titans they showed a power packed performance last year so this year they are pretty favorite to defend their title and they will be challenged by the likes of uh, chennai super kings we won the title four times, as we already mentioned. Under MS Dhoni, this, this might be his last tournament, but they are pretty favorite as well to beat Gujarat Titans in this fight. And the underdogs, uh, Royal Challenges Bangalore, under Faf Duplessis this time, not under Virat Kohli. Uh, but we all know the form that Virat Kohli has been in. So it is, it is very, it's going to be very close this time. Uh, but these are the top three teams that are in contention for this year's win. That's Gujarat Titans, Chennai Super Kings, and Royal Challengers Bangalore. Now, let's talk about the Fantasy League system and how the Fantasy League works. So there are two main options that you can get. One, you can either pick a squad for each of the game that's going to happen. We'll have over 50 games, so you can choose a squad for each of the teams that's playing. Or you can pick a squad for the entire season more details on that to come in episode three so subscribe to our channel and don't don't miss out on that to pick a squad for the entire season and see how the squad looks like um so yeah so those two are the main things uh that you will be looking at when you are joining any fantasy league that you can pick a squad for each game or just pick a squad for the entire season and how see how that plays out now let's talk about the squad updates of the of the first five teams we'll start with chennai super kings we'll go to delhi capitals the defending champion gujarat titans uh the two-time winners kolkata knight riders and then the underdogs of royal challengers bangalore so we'll be talking about the squad and how each of the squad is shaped and what based on the insider news what each other squad or the playing 11 would look like and how the playing 11 in your squad should look like so without wasting any time let's go into the first one of chennai super kings so for chennai super kings we all know ms Dhoni is going to be captaining that devon conway is there another wicket keeper who may or may not get a chance this time because ms Dhoni is the selected wicket keeper that is going to play out above everyone else right while talking about the batsmen they they have a, a good selection not not great i would say uh, but definitely pick rutraj quad and ambati ride in your squad 
you can also go for Ajinkya Rahane if you don't want to pick Ambadi Raidu. Uh, but uh, Ruturaj Kaikwad for sure. And then you can uh, spread between Ajinkya Rahane or Ambadi Raidu. While talking about the all-rounders, this is the England powerhouse. Um, we all know Ben Stokes uh, and how he has performed over the years. So he is definitely going to be your pick. He might even be the impact player this time uh, for Chennai Super Kings, along with Moin Ali, uh, who is going to be giving his all-round performance for Chennai Super Kings. We all know Ravindra Chadeja has performed pretty well in the past uh, for India and also for CSK. So definitely include Ravindra Chadeja in your squad. And along with the, uh, them, we'll pick Mitchell Santner and Shivam Dubey. So that covers the basis of our batting, all-round performance, and wicket-keeping unit. Uh, let's see how the bowling unit stands up. They have a huge selection of bowling options that they can take. So there will be a little ups and downs here. And when we talk about each of the squad for each of the game, uh, we'll, we'll dive more into who is going to be the impact player and who should you pick in your bowling 11 or playing 11 right but the bowlers that you can start with are definitely going to be Deepak Chahar he has uh, given great performance in the past we all know his skills we will definitely pick Mukesh Chaudhary and then the Sri Lankan uh, spin unit Mahesh Tekshana we know how well he has performed in the past so definitely do not ignore him we can uh, pick Mahesh Tekshana and he is also going to be another impact player for CSK so that covers all the squad or the playing 11 that we'll be picking for Chennai Super Kings. Now let's jump into the squad for Delhi Capitals for this year. Now the big news coming out of Delhi Capitals camp is that Rishabh Pant might not be playing. And what that means is that David Warner will be the captain of Delhi Capitals teams and he'll, he'll lead the way. There are chances though, uh, based on insider news, that Rishabh Pant, if he's fit by the middle of the tournament, he might be brought in. Uh, maybe not as a captain, but uh, he definitely makes an impact as a wicketkeeper and as a batsman. So with that in mind, knowing that Vishap Pant is injured and is not definitely not going to play the first few matches, uh, we'll have David Warner as our captain in our team. And the other batsman that we'll pick, we know Prithvi Shaw. He has given some great performance in the past. So he'll be opening along with David Warner. Uh, third down would be Manish Pandey. And then Yashtul will come into action as well. He has given pretty good performance in the past. And then we jump into the all-rounder department. So with all-rounders, the top two picks for Delhi Capitals would be Mitchell Marsh and Akshar Patel. We know both of them, they have given pretty good performance for the nation in the past. So this year, they are in pretty good form and are expected to be in pretty, uh, pretty decent performance as well for this year's IPL. And when we talk about the bowling department, it is a pacey department that Delhi Capitals has. Uh, the experience of Ishan Sharma coming to the picture. You can also select Chetan Sakarya instead of Ishan Sharma in your team. But definitely do not miss out on Lungi Angiri and Anrik Nokia. They are going to be a huge impact. The South African pair, they, they could be pretty dangerous and will be pretty useful for Delhi Capitals. And then the experience that Kuldeep Yadav brings in, that's going to be pretty useful on Indian pitches. So definitely don't exclude Kuldeep Yadav from your squad. He is going to be a key player. So with Delhi squads, Delhi Capital squads complete, let's jump into the Gujarat Titans, the defending champion. Um, this is going to be a little bit tough, uh, in my opinion, because Gujarat Titans, they have a strong squad. So who to include and who to drop from playing 11 it's going to be really tough we'll start with the uh, all-rounder this time because we all know the performance that hardik pandya has given in the past in last year's ipl we know how he has performed for india as well during the last year so hardik pandya is going to be your key player for gujarat titans lineup definitely select him as your captain we know the performance that rahul Tevatya and rashid khan both of them uh, they, they have given for Gujarat Titans in last year's IPL. So they will be some key names to include in your Gujarat Titans squad. When we talk about batsmen, it is it is a little tricky, right? We know the performance David Miller has given. He is a key player and a strong hitter. So David Miller is going to be key for Gujarat Titans. But if you choose David Miller, the problem that you might run into is do you select Kane Williamson or not? 
because keep in mind there are only four players allowed from uh, that are they're non indian there are non indian and international players so only four of those players allowed so it is going to get a little tricky a little tough for gujarat titans to select their playing 11 but it'll be strong nonetheless uh, right which is why they are favorite to defend this year's uh, title so we pick david miller shubman gill you can also go for ken williamson just keep in mind that even in fantasy leagues you will not be allowed to take more than four international players so with batsmen and all-rounders completed, the wicket-keeping department could be handled by Riddhiman Saha. We know Shrikar Bara did wicket-keeping for India in the test matches that just happened because Rishabh Pant was injured. So Shrikar Bara would be a choice as well, but the experience that Riddhiman Saha brings in is going to be pretty crucial. So they might switch between Riddhiman Saha or Shrikar Bara, but they have another option of Matty Wade. He is a terrific, terrific batsman. Right, the, the performance that he has given in the past is pretty cru crucial for both Gujarat Titans and Australia that he has played. So you can also go for Matty Wade as your wicket keeper. And then when it comes to bowling, um, we know Ardik Pandya, Rashid Khan, and Rahul Tevatia in in some way have um, two, about eight to ten overs covered there. So the other three bowlers that we'll be picking is Aljari Joseph. We know the good work that he has done for Gujarat Titans in last year. Mohamed Shami, the pace experience that he brings is going to be of tremendous, tremendous use for Gujarat Titans. And then the Mohit Sharma, the, he, the performance that he has given for CSK was pretty mind blowing. So Mohit Sharma is also going to be a good option that Gujarat Titans can go for. Um, last year, we did see Yash Dayal into action as well. So that will depend on each of the game. Uh, who are you playing against? Is Are you winning the task, losing the task, right? It will all depend on that. So for each of those, we'll be talking our uh, upcoming episodes on how you are creating the squad for each of the game. This is just an overview of the overall performance uh, and the overall squad that each of the team has. So do not to miss out on those upcoming podcast for your fantasy league teams for each of the games hit that subscribe button now all right so let's go into the next team that is kolkata knight riders now the big news coming out of kkr camp is that shreyash ayer is injured and he might not be playing in the first few games so what that means for kkr is that nitish rana is going to be captaining the team uh and while talking about the batsmen, Shreya Shahir, Nitish Rana, and Rinku Singh, those are going to be the key players to be included in the batting unit. But we know the all-rounders are uh, pretty strong too. Venkatesh Arya had a great IPL last year. Shakib Al Hassan, we know the skill that the Bangladeshi player has. And the powerhouse of Andre Russell. If he goes, he goes pretty far. Hey? So definitely pick these three players in your all-rounder unit, Pankatesh Ayer, Shakib Al Hassan, and Andre Russell. Talking about picket keeper, Lytton Das and Ramin Lagurbaz both are international players. Uh, the Lytton Das is from Bangladesh, Ramin Lagurbaz from Afghanistan. So it is going to be a little tricky to see how KKR pays their squad, which is why we have selected N. Jagadeesan that is going to be keeping the wickets for KKR. And coming to the bowling department, we know Lockie Ferguson had a huge impact last year. So Lockie Ferguson could come pretty handy. Sunil Narend, we cannot exclude that player. Right? Sunil Narend is definitely going to be in good form. He has performed pretty well in uh, previous years, previous editions of IPL, and also pretty well for his country. So he is going to be another key player. And then we have Varun Chakravarti, the mystery spinner. He has performed pretty well as well for KKR in the past. So Varun Chakravarti will be on our squad. And Umesh Yadav, the Indian pace bowler, he is also going to make it to the playing 11. Now, if we don't want to pick Lockie Ferguson, you can also go for Tim Saudi. Just keep in mind that the playing 11 might change before each other game, right? And we'll discuss about those before each other game. Uh, but for now, I will stick with Lucky Ferguson to make the most of my, of my money. And then the last team for today, the Royal Challenges Bangalore, the underdogs. This time, 
uh, under the captaincy of Puff Duplessis, who earlier used to play for Chennai Super King and has had a huge impact. So, Puff Duplessis is the captain since Virat Kohli dropped his glove on the captaincy for India. He just wants to enjoy his batting, which he is in pretty good nick right now. So, Puff Duplessis along with Virat Kohli, we might see them opening the batting for RCB. Rajat Patidar could come in at number three, uh, depending on the game situation, right? But those three are pretty good contenders for the opening pair for RCB this year. While talking about the all-rounder team, we know Mahipal Ramroor, he has also performed pretty well in the past. Um, so he is going to be included for RCB's playing 11. Glenn Maxwell, the Australian legend, we know how he far he can hit in T20 games, so you cannot exclude Glenn Maxwell from your playing 11. The spin from Sri Lanka of Vanendu Hasranga is going to come pretty handy for RCB this time. He has gone for a, a pretty pretty good amount this year, uh, right? And I hope RCB makes the most out of him. And uh, we hope that uh, he did, he's able to propel the team into playoffs. Along with them, we'll take Shabazz Ahmad as our all-rounder. That's going to be pretty helpful for RCB. And going into the keeping parts, we know Dinesh Karthik. He has performed pretty well for India in the past. Uh, for KKR as well, in previous editions of IPL, he actually forced his way into the Indian team by showing the performance that he has under his belt. So Dinesh Karthik is going to be a key player for RCB. And I hope him and Virat, uh, they're able to take the team into the playoffs. And talking about the bowling department, Josh Hazelwood, the Australian pace, you cannot keep him out, right? He is going to be another key bowler for RCB this year, along with Mohamed Siraj and Herschel Patel. We know both of them, how they have performed in the T20 and the ODI games that India has had in the past and also in the previous editions of IPL. So this completes the playing 11 for RCB that is going to make the most impact this year right so with that thank you for watching and listening to our podcast definitely tell us in the comment section how you feel about the squad or the first five teams and don't forget to subscribe for more insider news and tips to make you rich from this year's fantasy leagues till then stay wise and stay safe share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button We'll see you in the next episode of this Ultimate IPL podcast. Thank you, everyone.